Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 10th of June. The new cabinet has just been announced. There are no changes to the core cabinet, which is good news for the stock markets. Tomorrow it should be seen kindly by the market participants. At least there is no negative surprise. No major post has gone to an ally. So the key positions will be in the control of the current government and the prime minister. Quick update, last few weeks I've been shuffling my portfolio. I had received some queries. So I've created a new video and raised it yesterday night. It is all about the fundamentals required to create a new portfolio from scratch. Do watch it if you haven't. Stock of the day today was Motilal Oswal. They gave a bonus 1 is to 3, which means if you had one share, you'll get three more. The sad part is that most of the participants like me didn't have enough shares in the DMAT today, though the X bonus date is today. As a result, the stock opened 20%, but we missed the gains. The stock closed 8% up only. So 12% of those gains are gone. Tomorrow the stock may actually open a bit in red because there will be oversupply. This is something that the markets and SEBI should try and fix. X bonus state may be advanced by one day when people have the shares in their DMAT. Not when the market responds but there are not enough shares in the DMAT account. Today if you are an investor probably it was a no nonsense day. No major good or bad news. Markets were range bound. But if you are a trader it was a really scary day for the simple reason that Reliance was really volatile today. It went up down in 1 and 2% kind of ranges, starting with the opening which was nearly 3% gap up, came down nearly 2%, then went up, down, up, down, up, down, huge movements in Reliance and that impacted in the same huge movements in Nifty. It was a crazy day if you are a trader. This is a lot scaled down version of the nifty graph. However, it shows the volatility. Continuous movements. This part seems like a range. However, this is a very wide range. The VIX cool down for the day completely. Down 3% at 16.40. The manic Tuesday will now go off tomorrow. We'll have a sea of greens and so let's see how tomorrow pans out. Especially on top of the cabinet announcements. No stock was up much in the top 8. However, the IT pack was under severe pressure. Infosys down 2.2%, TCS down a percent. This probably related to the US markets. Again, US is talking about interest rates. The entire market nearly was down yesterday. In India, Nifty was down 0.1%. Bank Nifty literally went nowhere. IT down 2%, which is a huge cut. Energy up half percent. FIs and DIs were net buyers today. It is not usual these days to see both FIs and DIs do buying. Gold corrected a bit. China is no longer going to buy a lot of gold. As a result, gold has been falling. It is now below 72,000. Silver, however, was up. Brent minor uptick. Bitcoin stable around 70,000. Today, Nifty did not do too much. However, there was huge fluctuation because banking and software were down a lot. They contributed nearly 130% to the downside. However, pharma, construction materials, some sectors did exceedingly well. Real estate operations contribute 22% to the upside. So on an average, the indices did not go anywhere, but there were huge spikes, ups and downs in the sectors. Aerospace and defense, HL was up, but Mazgaon Dock, BDL, Garden Reach, they all corrected. Automobile, Maruti down a bit, Mahindra down. Madarsan Sumi has been on the tier up another 5%. Banks, ICIC and SBI were up a bit 0.2%, but the big cuts were in HDFC Bank and Bajaj Finance. Construction Engineering, IRB gave up all the gains from Friday. No major change in the other heavyweights. Cement Pack was on a tier today. All stocks were up 3 to 4%. Adani Enterprises went nowhere. Power Pack was up. Investment Banking wise, Motila Loswal after the bonus was up 8%. The heavyweight machinery equipment sector was under pressure today. Metals and mining, steel was up. All others were down. Oil and gas, no major change. HUL and Godrej corrected a bit, but Dabar was up. Pharma up. Real estate, most of the companies were up. Software was bleeding. Telecom, no major changes. Nifty, first point today is the volumes were pretty shallow. Most stocks were trading at 40, 50, 60% kind of average volumes. What pulled the indices down? Tech Mahindra, Infosys, Wipro, MNM, LTI, Mindry, mostly IT pack. What was up? The Cement Pack, Ultratech, Grassim, followed by Hero, Sipla, PowerGrid, Nestle, NTPC. Hardly any stocks are there in the bottom 50% when it comes to 52 week high low. Nearly 50% stocks are back in the 80% plus zone. Similarly, next 50, nearly nothing in the bottom 50%. 33 stocks are in the 80% or above zone in terms of proximity to 52 week high. What was down? Vedanta, Gale, Jindal Steel, Zomato. What was up? Mother Sansumi, Shri Cement, Indigo, Ambuja Cement, Zydus, Bank of Baroda. Besides the top 3-4 stocks which are up a lot, the volumes were shallow. Nifty IT index, everything was bleeding. Nifty Energy, ONGC corrected a bit, so did Coal India. 
rest all were up banks shallow volumes hdfc down icic sbi up a bit no major movements however in any stock same with psus no major movements how did my stocks do today first i sold hal bl ongc did a bit of profit booking to cover the losses in the option trades option trade also did not go too well i was short now what happened was nifty opened with a gap up and it immediately came down this gave me a feeling that today may be a down day because most of the good news is already priced in our nifty went up again came down again went up again then became range bound the range was broad then it corrected a bit after that it started going up again now where i went wrong was i was watching reliance also in the side and around this fall what i noticed was that nifty and reliance both had started going up i lost my conviction at this point i thought that it's another good day and let me not fight the market and reliance i squared off all my short positions that are lost what i did wrong and which i always say not to do is i actually went up i bought some call options they immediately became profitable at this point i was in good profit i had recovered significant losses also but then all hell broke loose markets literally tanked this was nearly a 150 point correction in a space of about 10 minutes i did a lot of averaging here i thought that market will do a v shape recovery they did recover a bit they consolidated at this stage i was fearing decay so i again booked the losses and i went short again the shorts are doing fine as of now but tomorrow again markets now will probably open with a gap up because the cabinet is stable so effectively i have lost most of the gains i made in the markets in option trade last week the equity trades are still doing fine there are some technical issues i'm not able to pull my portfolio on sensible right now but it was in deep red most of the profits gone but this is life of a trader from tomorrow the sizes will be very low today was the last day where they were carry forward trades on the last week hopefully it will be lot more stable and in control from now on one thing i am thinking of is markets are in an overhang of elections i made money last week when the convictions were serving right i lost a lot of money in the last two days because the convictions were not serving right so better stay out for some time till markets get out of this election mode and some sort of semblance some sort of technical fundamental at least something which i am in control of comes back and at least the readings are not overridden by a sudden external factor which i am not aware of let's see i'll keep you posted on how the trades go tomorrow meanwhile have good rest thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow